today and we are now at a dim sum restaurant called Fong Sing. It's near Wong Got Station, so super, super central. I am very hungry today. So we've ordered a few dim sum delicacies. Dim sum means to touch your heart and it's meant to be served typically during the morning, but now as it progresses, it's more of a lunchtime thing. We have loads of different steamed baskets of cute little dumplings. It can be steamed, it can be deep fried, it can be pan fried. Whatever you want is a dish for everyone. So yeah, this is my all time favorite dish in the world and we are gonna go and have some now. I love this one, it's got bean curd and beef. We've also got the Malaysian sponge cake, oh, chicken feet, brisket, glutinous rice. We're gonna order a bit of everything. What ham show seen ha gao? Got some buns now, <gasps> the beef, bare ribs, and siu mai. Wow! the bean curd wrap and it's all steamed together so it retains its moisture and this is really good dipped in uh, the Worcester sauce but it's got a little bit of vegetables coriander inside and it is so so tasty okay so I'm gonna dip it in and see how much I can fit in my mouth hey. So this is what it looks like on the inside, it's got some coriander, it's also got little chunks of chestnut inside so it's all crunchy with the meat. It's very very fatty beef so the meat isn't dry at all um, and the bean curd is super tasty with it so yes. Delish. We have bean curd roll. On the outside is some fried bean curd and inside they have some prawns and mushrooms and it's also served with some Worcester sauce to dip it in as well. Taste test of the bean curd roll. It's very, very beefy. Pork and prawn on its inside. And then this is what it looks like on the inside. So very, very meaty, very succulent, juicy. Now got some seal mite, which is a very, very famous dim sum dish. Pork and prawn wrapped in an egg wrapper. And now we have plain chang fun, and it's just got some scallions in there and little shrimp paste. And it's normally served with poison sauce with some sesame. And then you mix it all up together. Now I have meat and vegetable bun and when you have this remember to take off the paper. So many people I know have eaten this with the paper attached so yeah take it off. The inside it's just meat and some mushrooms, a little bit of veggies but this one feels a bit tough and hard so normally it's pretty soft and fluffy but this one looks a little bit like it's been left out a bit too long. I hope you heard most of that because it was very very loud inside but Next up we're going to go for a little bit of shopping and then when the appetite returns we're going to go back to Wongot and maybe eat some street food or go to a Hong Kong diner, so I'm not sure yet, but carry on watching and we'll see what happens. Okay, next stop in the food tour. It's now about half three and we are at Cho Wa, which is a Hong Kong diner. It's super popular here. It's probably the most popular diner in Hong Kong and it's loads dotted around, but the one we are at is in Wong Got and it's open for 24 hours. First things first, I've got one of their famous dishes, which I've had before and it's insane. And this is the fishball noodle soup and it's with the flat rice noodles. There are two different kinds of fishballs. Four of them are in the brown fishballs, a lot more meatier. And then 
then the triangular one is a lot more like tofu texture, very very soft. So yeah, and look at the bowl, it looks like a big spoon. So I'm gonna dish that up and then give it a try. And this is called a la yao ju, which is also a very very popular dish in a Hong Kong diner, and it's basically a toasted bun with butter and then condensed milk over the top. It's very very good. It's a good alternative to toast. And Choa is the most popular for their teas, and this one is their hot tea with condensed milk. Ugh, and it's so good. And now I have the cold version of the tea. Oh, I live for these every time I'm back. So sweet and strong. Hiya, it is now about half nine and it's dinner time so we are at a restaurant called Crystal Jade. It's on the third floor in Harbour City Shopping Centre. Bit of queue outside, very very packed but they're known for their ramen and their soup dumplings and you all know how I feel about soup dumplings so I'm going to try it out and see what it is like. This one's got minced meats and a little bit of chili sauce and some spring onions with some hand pulled noodles. This one's called dan dan mean and it's a chili base. Look at that fiery colour. About to dig in. That is fiery. So these noodles are hand pulled on the site every day. Fresh. And it's very, very fiery, spicy, like a chili pepper kind of spicy. So it hits you in the back of the throat. It almost has like a peanutty aftertaste. Okay, now we have the chili minced noodles. Mm. It's actually cooked with like a hoisin sauce. It's very, very sweet. The noodles are somehow softer and they've got little bits of minced meat in it, but you can't really tell because it's chopped up so finely. But very, very different to the other one, whereas the other one is more savoury, chilli. Yeah, this is a lot sweeter. Okay, now we have some drunken chicken. And I think it's got some wine in there and then also very famous soup dumplings, which are my favourite. Soup dumplings, bathing in the vinegary sauce time. All in one. Oh no, my soup just leaked. Oh. Mm. Now we have some Beijing dumplings. These are a little bit different, so instead of steam, the wrapper is a little bit thicker on the outside. You still dip it in the same sauce, whether it's soy sauce or chili sauce, and this is boiled instead of steam. So let's give this a try. It is the same filling. This time I think the wrapper's a bit too thick. <laughs> Whereas the soup dumpling, the wrapper's a bit too thin. This tastes a lot more smoother. I think it's because it was boiled. It's still good. Very good, especially if you change sauce. Final verdicts for today. Dim sum today, going to give it a 5 out of 10 because they used the same filling for the silmai with the bean curd rolls, which you shouldn't be doing. Lazy. Um, and also the, the food was subpar and I honestly think the food in Chinatown in London is a lot better than the food we had uh, today at the dim sum restaurant. Choa, pretty good. Alright, I really like the fishbowl noodle soup. I give that about 6.5 out of 10. Um, and then the place today, the Crystal Jade, but, mm, 5 out of 10 is a bit harsh, 6 out of 10. For a place that specialises in the hand pulled noodles, they were very average. There's not a lot, the, the bowl's big, but there's not a lot of noodles in there. The flavour's good, but it's not like insanely amazing for it to specialise in it. The soup dumpling was good, uh, the Peking dumplings are also good, even though they use the same filling again. But the service is quite good, you get unlimited tea, um, and the view is pretty cool from Harbour City. So yeah, I'll probably come here again in a stretch, but I would definitely prefer going to Ding Tai Fung instead for my soup dumpling fix. So today's been a goodish food day, it's not been absolutely incredible, but still passable. I feel like this video is really pretty long, so for now, good night, and I shall see you tomorrow.